This week's Mum SOS, travelling with children, planes, trains, automobiles, we've got you covered. I have asked the Channel Mum vloggers for their sage advice, their words of wisdom, their golden nuggets on all things to do with children and travelling. Because sometimes it could be tough enough just at home. So if like me a year ago you're just like, how can I take this situation abroad? Then keep watching. When my youngest was two months and my oldest was two years, we packed all our stuff into a VW camper van and we went on a massive trip. It's quite embarrassing. Milo's like, we gathered them up. He's done something like 45,000 air miles already. Definitely choose a flight time that's around your child's best behaviour. And by that I mean something that's first thing in the morning when they're at their happiest and have loads of energy, or something later at night when they'll hopefully sleep through the entire flight. Even the process such as going through security, lots of people have asked me questions about that and they are so helpful. No one's out there to try and take your baby's milk and food away from you. Something I was told which I think is so useful is you can actually place a Boots order and have it delivered to the airport in the local Boots in duty free, which I think is so, so useful, especially if you're taking things like nappies, formulas, things like that, for, especially for younger children. It obviously depends on each of your airports, but it's something worth looking into. I think when you're checking in either short haul or long haul, I think the two things to ask is the flight full. If it's not, can you have an, ex uh, an empty seat, be sat in a row with an empty seat? Um, and also if there's any chance of an upgrade. Changing your toddler or baby on a plane is an absolute nightmare. So what we did was actually take pull-ups. Aria is coming up to two years old and is obviously the age that she doesn't like to sit still when she's having her nappy change. So what we did was just stand her in the cubicle and put her in pull-ups. It made things a lot, lot easier because it is basically like trying to change a bowl in a phone box. It is absolutely impossible. I'd be so scared of, well, one, the plane, because that is a long journey. Yeah. Jet lag. Yeah, do you know what? He was amazing. The jet lag, he got over it quicker than we did. You just have to almost grin and bear it. It took him maybe three days to adjust. I'm quite a routine -y person and I like to have my routine and know what's going on. But when we're traveling, I have learned to just let it go. When you're on holiday, there's nothing very familiar for your children. Your children might be thinking, what's going on? This isn't normal. I don't get a say. So I would suggest that you try every way to build in a sense of control for your children. So let them know exactly what's happening, maybe draw them a picture at the start of the day so they can understand where you're gonna be going today and give them heaps of chance to contribute. When we were traveling around Europe, we would have a family meeting in the morning and everybody, apart from the baby, got to say what they wanted to do that day. My biggest tip would be just to relax the rules and enjoy your holiday. Kids are so adaptable and welcome change. I think it's us parents that really struggle with it. I know that my anxiety was horrendous going on holiday when actually it was totally fine. Aria was amazing. It was me that was the problem. So I would definitely recommend just relaxing the rules and the routines and just going with it. Just go and enjoy your holiday. Don't stress, relax and have fun. So that was this week's Mum SOS. I hope it's made you feel a bit better if you haven't traveled before or it's answered some questions that have been niggling at you about traveling abroad with kids. It can be done, I promise. As always, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have any golden nuggets of advice or anything that you think we haven't covered then leave us a comment below and make sure you subscribe to channel mom so you don't miss a thing